hello and welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a video featuring um, some of the um, projects that I've made using the Scrap Diva Designs um, dies that will be available for the March release um, coming out March 1st and so I just wanted to share with you some quick kind of basic projects mostly um, just so you can kind of get an idea of the dies and and that kind of stuff so um, first up, let me share with you this one. So this one is called uh, Bunny Doily Memory Decks. Okay, so this is a die set. So you have the, your um, Memory Decks piece here, um, but you also have a complete other set that you can, you know, you, you can use to layer on here, but you can also just use it plain and not do a Memory Decks if you want to, okay? It also comes with, um, the bunny ears and you have um, uh, a layering piece on the each on you know for each ear and then you also have the feet so you get the layering piece on top of the regular foot there and then it also comes with the words uh, happy Easter with a shadow piece for it so let me show you real quick um, just a basic one that I made so I did make the memory deck so you could see it and so I just used the memory Dex piece and then the layering piece. So I just used these two pieces right here. And then you can see how um, the feet are layered. You get the kind of solid piece on the bottom and then the layering piece with the, you know, um, more of the design on top. And the same thing with the ears. And then there's the um, word that comes with the Happy Easter layered up. I have it on foam. And I just put a little carrot that's from another die set. I'll show you. Um, but I used it on there. It has some little rickrack trim behind here. Put some kind of gold jemmies just up the the ears, a little flower. And then on the back, I used the bow that comes with um, a different set. Uh, la la la, I can't remember which one. I'll, I'll tell you though. Oh, I think it's the bunny ears, bunny, bunny bow. And then I put a little <laughs> pom pom back there for his butt. So that those are super cute so this is just kind of more of a basic one but there is that one okay um next let me share with you um, let me find it here okay so next we have the easter bunny okay so it has the base and then the stitch layering piece it has the grass strip. It has, let me take these little pieces out so you can see. Sorry. Okay, so it has, there's an extra piece there. Okay, so there's your base piece, and then we got the um, layering piece. We've got the grass. And then it comes with all of these. So we have three carrots. We got two smaller ones and one larger one. And then we got the whiskers. And these um, are layering pieces for the ears. And then we got some Easter eggs, three different sizes. And then we got his eye. And then we also have um, the word with the shadow that says buddy. It's so cute. Okay, so you could definitely make a mini album out of this. <clears throat> All kinds of stuff. So I made... So I made one just plain with some pattern paper. It's just, you know, just a flat piece that I could put on the, you know, a card or some other, you know, you could use this on a scrapbook layout, you know, on a page layout. And so here's this layering pieces for his ears. Here's his eyes. Um... Here's the whiskers. I used a cute little um, heart um, cabochon that I had for his nose. Here's a couple of the carrots. And then this piece around here is... I used lots of the um, dyes on the things. So um, this is the one that's called Flower Circles. And you get two different sizes of the, um, of the circles. And then it has... Um, a layering piece for the flowers. Let me take this out and show you. 
And on this, on the bunny, I use the small. Okay, so you get this piece, and then you get this piece that will layer up the flowers. Okay, and this is the small, and then you get the same thing for the large. Okay, um, this is the small one I used on here. And what I did, um, I just kind of, you know, cut them, cut the circle kind of in half, and just kind of laid it around, kind of like a collar or a necklace or something like that. And then I just layered up some of the flowers and then I put some gems in the flowers put a little bow up here and of course he's got to have a little puffy tail so there's just a plain flat bunny and then I also made another one like this and I made him into a card so this one you can see more of the decor better because it's got you know more of a subtle background but turned out really cute I think and yeah, so I have me a cute little card and can easily make a, um, you know, you can make, easily make an, a, a mini album and stuff out of this too. So, so cute. So there's that. I had done a video um, showing how to put together the Easter basket. And um, so this is the one that we put together on on camera. This was the one I had made first that I showed you. I decorated it a little bit more. I've added some of the, um, I think I must have caught that on something. I'll have to fix that. Um, anyway, I used a bunch of the butterfly from the, uh, I think they're called butterfly bag toppers. Yeah, butterfly bag toppers. Okay. Now I, I'm showing you this because I want to show you, um, more in depth the bag toppers um, so with the bag topper set you get two different sizes okay so you get this bag topper and with the layering piece right there okay and then you get the smaller bag topper with the layering piece okay and then you also get a set with the base and the layering piece that you can use separately without being a bag topper. So that's kind of why I want to show you this. So I made a bunch of these without the bag topper that I, I think I have like three layers here, three or four layers of stuff that I just, um, some of the, some of the detailed one and some of the flat one and just layered them up here and put a flower in the center. So put a gem in the center of that one. So I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what, um, <clears throat> the bag toppers look like and then that to let you know also that you do get a set that comes with it also that can be plain without the bag topper so you can use this for decoration and you can't have too many butterflies so I wanted to share that with you I do have some bag toppers that I'll share with you in a second that I made with another project so um, so this is kind of a little bit of everything here. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> next up, let me go ahead and share with you some of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, loaded bags. Oh my goodness, I love this one. Love, 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 love. So we got loaded pocket medium and loaded pocket large. Okay. Here's the large. A lot of these pictures I've shared um, on Instagram, just kind of giving you a quick little look. So there's the large. Okay, and <clears throat> let me go into more into depth on what these contain. So this one is the large. So these are the two that I made. So you get this shape again and that shape again, which is what you had in the small from this um, from the February release. Okay, you got the same exact shapes. These are just bigger. Okay, you got the pocket still. Okay, so with the large, you get both of those shapes. Okay, and then you also, so you got these two shapes. And you have these two. So you got both the layering, you know, the layering piece and the base for those two shapes. Okay, then you get the pocket. This pocket fits both of those. Okay, and then you get the layering piece for the pocket. You get these that can cut out um, the shape and you can like layer it on. This one I cut the shape out and just added it on top because <clears throat> I didn't think about it before I um, had this all glued together. So anyway, you get that with it. 
You also get this really cute um, doily heart shape here. So this is going to cut out this whole thing around here, okay? So this will be solid in here. But then you also get this piece, which has a stitched, and that can layer here. So you could cut out this and just have a border if you want, okay? And then you also get this piece, which um, will cut out that design. Now you could use you could use that in here if you want. So you put that there and cut it out like that, and use use that like that. Um, and you can also just use this by itself. Um, let's see. On this one, you can see here. I use that one by itself on the layering piece for the pocket. So I just cut out that heart with has all the hearts on it on my layering piece before I put my pocket together. Okay. So and there's another one of the butterflies I used on here. This is <coughs> the um, <coughs> uh, what's that called? show you. I didn't really have a bunch of these by himself to show you yet. Um, it's called Easter Ribbon Slider. So that is this part, okay? And if you can see here on the, they have like a whole slot so you can put ribbon in. So I have this really pale ribbon here that I put through there and then I just, I'm attached it around back. But I, I sandwiched it in so you can't see it. This is a flower for my stash. These all are. Um, and then inside here, I made just some cute little pockets. So now this piece here is the um, layering piece in the smaller, in the medium size one that I used to cut out this vellum piece here. And then I layered on um, the scalloped from the, I think this is from the small set. <laughs> so I'm kind of combining all three sets here. And then this piece, I'll show you here in a minute, comes with the medium set. So I cut this out of pattern paper and then out of, um, vellum and then I put some stickers on top and then I use the bow from the um, buddy bow and this I just put through this little hole that I cut up here the little tab okay because it has like a tab like thing so I just put that so I just can flip up just for some added interest so I have that for in there and then I just made a couple more cute little um, vellum you know like little library pockets using some of the pieces from the collection. This one's another one. And then, oh, and here I just cut it. I just put a couple of these um, Easter ribbon sliders in there with the stamp. Now, <clears throat> just a minute, I'll show you more about that, okay? <clears throat> I kind of wanted to give you guys more in-depth looks on these so you know what you were, you know, getting if you decide to order these. So here's, again, this is the layering piece from the medium set. And then I just got some like stickers and stuff layered up here, some puffies. And then here's this piece again that flips up and then the bow on top. So that kind of is in the back. And then just another um, vellum pocket, like library type pocket. Okay, here are a couple of the bag toppers. They're not decorated, they're just plain. Okay, so there's one of each size. Okay, so those are the bag toppers and I had just <clears throat> wanted <ooh. laughs> I wanted to just you know have those to, like stick down inside so just to kind of give you an idea of you know stuff you can put in here you know like if you want to send out happy mail and that kind of stuff or if you're doing a challenge or whatever you can you can really fill these up okay so you can fit a bunch of different stuff and these aren't full at all so anyway so those are the pieces that come with that large now let me show you real quick <clears throat> Um, the medium and what comes in that. So, let's see. I have a mess here, so sorry. Um, oh, here's the medium over here. Okay, so I, here is the medium. So let me set these aside here. And then here's just a, a quick look at a couple, you know, just basic mediums. Okay, this one I don't have anything inside, it's just a pocket. Um, again, here I use that um, circle with the flowers, floral circle, whatever, can't remember what it's called. Um, but I use that here and then just layered up some flowers on it. I had another one of the but layered butterflies by itself. I made this one a shaker, so this one I use the plain heart that I showed you. 
<clears throat> that comes in the large. <clears throat> this one is just kind of a stitched one back here. I use that to cut out um, the heart design in the pocket, again, before I layered it up. And then this one, I um, put some tool in there and I have some, you know, it's made it shake. It doesn't shake very much now because I glued so much down on top of it. But, um, and then this is the stamp that comes in um, the Easter ribbon slider. So I'll share with that with you two here in just a second. So there's that one. <clears throat> and then here's this one. This one's the other shape that comes with it. So you see, you get both shapes in both, in all three sizes, the same shape in all three sizes. Okay, so this one here, I've used the bunny bow. It's got all these three layers for the ears and then it has, you know, the bow part here. So instead of putting them together, I separated the ears up here. I put this little hello spring ribbon slider right here and then I ran the ribbon through and it kind of looked like, um, you know, like the whiskers. And so then I just put my little bow down here and the little thing to look like the bunny butt. So I thought that turned out cute. Okay, and then I just have the pocket real simple. And then what I did was I layered up a nut, the other pocket on top of it. So I got actually a couple pockets here. So this pocket is from the small set. Now I could have done the same thing from like, I could have used, you know, on the large one, I could have used, you know, the medium sized pocket on that too and layered up and even layered the small up on top of that. So it's really nice to have all three sizes because they are so useful. I mean, and then look at the, let's see, that's not, this is the medium still, so, but this is the pocket from the small right here, this blue piece. And then I just layered up the piece that I cut out from here, layered it up there with the bow again, and then just a cabochon on the top. Okay, so that's the large and the medium. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's see, what else was I going to share with you? Oh, I don't think I shared with you what all comes in this medium one. Let me take these out so I can share with you for sure so you can know. Okay, so again, you get this shape with a layering piece, and you get this shape with a layering piece. Okay, here's your pocket. It fits the medium size, but you could always layer it up on other things and on the... Um, the large okay here's the layering piece for the pocket okay now on the medium set you get this which is what I was showing you <clears throat> on here okay so here's this piece and this is folded over when I cut this little slot up here this is folded over through there okay so you got this piece as the base and then you have this piece you can layer up and so that's what I cut out my um, vellum out of to layer I mean my pattern paper layered on top no it's my vellum I layered on top there so you get that and then you also get this stitched um, heart little heart so it could come out of there too I believe yeah yeah it could just well, I don't think it would look that great but you can use it separately like I did and then you also get the same uh, it's a little bit different shape but you get the same thing to cut out you know, make the little slots if you want to like to hang it or whatever or put ribbon through and then it also comes with this cute little key and the lock isn't that cute so i don't think i showed you guys that last time so i want to make sure i showed you the pieces that all um, come with this all right so let's put this back in here <coughs> shared with you the bunny bows um, that I used on a couple of these projects so I the, the small is the one I used on all the projects that I shared with you like this and um, like this this is the small okay so I did also the set comes with two sizes so you get this larger size here too which I haven't played with yet but I will okay so you got three layers of this you have let me just show you right here so you got your blue layer right here with has kind of a the kind of scallopy type edge and then you got your next layer here and that I've cut out a white 
and then the next layer that I've cut out of pattern paper. So all three of those layers, and then you got the two bow pieces, and then it's got, you know, the strip to wrap around your bow if you want. So that's what comes with the bunny bows, okay? Now, let me share with you this. So I don't have a bunch of these to share with you by themselves, but let me just quickly share with you that I, like one or two that I used on the um, projects. Let's see, like on this one I showed you here, that I just put some of these down in here, like that you could use for, um, you know, to give people. So these are the layers without any ribbon put through them. So you get this piece, which is the, you know, you can see it's a scalloped piece here. Okay. You get this piece, so you can just layer this up just like that on top. And then you also get this piece, <clears throat> which um, it'll give you this square piece inside here also. Okay. So that's what I used when I did this one with just not, I just used it so I could stamp a sentiment and have just a little square. So that was the piece that came out of here in the center. Now I can, you can take this out also. I just didn't because I already had this other one that doesn't have it inside because these two are the same other than this center piece right here. So I just left it in. Okay. And if you just leave that, use that piece that comes out of the center, this is just what you get, just a basic little square. Okay. Um, but then you can, um, I layered this up on foam. And then what you do is just take your, um, let me see, let me grab a piece of ribbon here so you can see. Um, <laughs> here's a piece of, of this. So anyway, you would just put your ribbon behind here. Okay. So put it through the one side and then run it across the back. So just have it going across the back. Okay, and then you just put your other side here. So um, I don't have my end <laughs> free. <laughs> it's tricky. Okay, so you can put it like this, and then just let me just snip off some of this, and then run this through this edge. Okay, and then you could um, leave it just kind of flapping. You can wrap it around something. Um, and, and as you can see, so that's why it's called a slider because you can like slide it, um, you know, wherever you want it. So you could put this across a card or the, you know, a, uh, a scrapbook page and just, you know, slide it wherever you needed to and just put the ribbon across the whole thing if you wanted to, wrap it around a card, a project, whatever. So that's what those are made to do. And so I have just done a couple of them just that I just, just kind of wanted to stick something in here. Okay, so when you get this set, it's called the uh, Easter Ribbon Slider. So it comes with these three dies, and it also comes with this stamp set. I didn't even notice the stamp set when I first <laughs> did my unboxing. So um, I want to make sure I showed you guys that it comes with all these sentiments that fit perfectly in that die. So you got Easter and Greetings. Those are both separate. You can put them together as Hello and Spring, which I used here. And I just kind of put them together. You have Have a Hoppy Day, which is this one. Have a Hoppy Day. You get You Crack Me Up. So cute. You get Let's Go Hunting, He is Risen, Seek and Find, and Bunny Kisses. So cute. So love that one too. So I just wanted to make sure, like I say, lots of these I didn't go in depth when I did my unboxing. So I want to show you what actually comes with um, some of these things that you, that, you know, even I just didn't notice real well when I first did the unboxing. So there's that. Okay. Uh, it's getting to be a long video. Sorry. I didn't plan on sharing this much. I don't think. Okay. So there's all of those. What else do I got? Oh, so then I have Nick. This die set here, lots of dies, and this is called the Suitcase Shadow Box. So you get, I'm gonna have to do a, a tutorial on this one. 
but I haven't done it yet, but I'll show you what I made real quick, and then I'll, I'll have to get to doing a tutorial. Okay, so you get this piece, which is your whole, you know, like your outline, your whole base piece, okay? This piece is a layering piece that's going to give you just this edge, so it's going to cut out the center here, okay? That would go on top. All right, you get your, this is the bottom piece. Here are your sides, which you're going to cut two and then just wrap it up and around. Okay, you're going to cut two of those. You get layering pieces for these. Right here. This is, um, this is the, what? <laughs> this is, I think I'm missing a piece here. Where'd it go? Oh, it's still right there. Okay, so this piece here is going to be like a strap. I put mine down in the center, but you can do two straps. Hang on, I left a piece inside here still. Okay, so then here's like your strap, okay, for that on top. And then this piece here makes your buckle like that. Here's an extra one I had that I didn't use. So that goes on there for the strap. Okay, you also get um, layering pieces for the handles, and then these will be like hole and reinforcers to go around these these three little holes right here on your strap. Okay, so you get your layering piece. You can do just the top of the handle, just like right across here, or you can go up, you know, and around, do whichever way you want. So there's that. You get this piece that says airmail and has a, a little. Um, Plain and it's got stitched around it okay you get this layering um, a shadow word that says travel that comes with it you get a cute little plane to cut out if you want to and then you get a little banner and then here's the layering pieces for it so you can like put that across there if you want to and then this piece I wasn't sure what it was when I first made mine and so um, what I made mine for, what I used mine for was to, I cut them out and then because it has this kind of like a little slot in here, I kind of like attach that to the bottom of my suitcase. And then I put some of my elements in there to help them like stand up on the bottom. I'll show you here in just a second. What it's meant for, I, had, I asked Erica, <laughs> um, it's meant to, so that you could make um, a, uh, like a mini album so you could put pages in there, okay? So that's what it was intended for. But that's not what I used it for because I wasn't sure. Okay, so let me show you mine real quick. So here's mine that I made. So um, all these projects here so far, I'm using the Maggie Holmes parasol. So you can see here, I only put the one strap down. There's my little buckle that I and then my little handle that I reinforced with gold. And then inside here. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff layered. I've got like chipboard and stuff across the back, like the plane and stuff. Some binoculars, some little flip flops from Erica's Diet last year. Got some other like ephemera pieces that I sandwiched in between this little piece that I made and then I, this little piece right here, and it like folds up. So then I sandwiched my little pieces in here and then I just, you know, where this is at the center, I put a strip of glue and glued that down to the bottom piece down here, you know, inside, but the bottom piece. So it gives all that dimension. I got like this little bicycle and suitcase and, you know, one of those puppy, um, what do you call it? Shell things. I think it turned out really cute. So you could put all kinds of stuff in there. So you can see all the dimension and layers that are in there. And then I just decided to, um, I had a, this is from my stash that somebody had made me. I attached here with some ribbon and then a, a flower up there on top. So I think it turned out super cute. <clears throat> so many things you can do with this one. Make it a mini album, make it a shadow box, make it just a plain flat piece. Um, yeah, lots you can do. You don't have to put the front on. You could just, you know, it's however you want to make it. So think outside the suitcase. <laughs> So super cute, love that. So that's that. And then lastly, I'm gonna share with you my new favorite one so far. 
this one is called, um, let me put this back so I don't mix my pieces. You guys, when I start get when I get these and I start cutting, I start I go from one to the next, and I just have like this pile of um, dies, and I'm like, okay, I gotta remember where, which ones these go with. So I try to keep them all straight because I just have like piles of dies all together in like die cutting area. Um, let me show you the die set first. <clears throat> okay, this is called the three D castle. So cute. And the pieces. So we have your base piece for the bottom and the layering piece. Okay. This is for the side. You're gonna cut this out twice. This is for the top. You're gonna cut this out twice. These two here are layering pieces for right here. Okay, you're going to cut this out like, uh, 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 you're going to need four of these. So you're going to have to cut these out twice for those. Okay, this is the part that kind of goes around the, the top. You're going to cut out two of these. Okay, and here's the layering pieces for the windows. So you're going to need four of those if you, if, you, if you want to use those. You don't have to. And then you get this, you know, flag piece for the top. Okay, so let me show you what I made. I had to go carousel. I just felt like it kind of had like a tent, uh, <laughs> you know, the tent, um, still kind of a circus theme also, you know, just with this, even though it's castle, I just, sometimes you have this around the top of tents and stuff, and I just thought that was so cute. So I went with carousel, and um, I used 110 pound pink cardstock, and then I used uh, the really thin, um, pattern paper to layer up here. Um, I also have this layered on my, um, uh, uh, you don't get a layering piece for the window ones. So what I did was um, I cut more of the plain ones for that and then I lined up <laughs> this window in here so that I could cut out, um, you know, the shape. Actually, no, that's not what I did. I put them on here, I put it over here and cut it out again over the top of this one so I would have the window cut out. Okay, that's what I did. And then I just decorated it up and it's so cute. Here's a little pick here and put, you know, some of the, um, this is one of the carousel ephemera pieces. This is the, the top of a pick from a Dollar Tree. Here's one, another one of the layering butterflies from this release. Just flowers I had in my stash. I trimmed it with this gold heart. Got a cute little rosette here and a, a piece from the um, carousel collection and then a um, heart resin piece here turned out so cute I literally just decorated the front but isn't that beautiful so cute and then the lid just comes off and voila you could fit a lot down in there quite a lot and then so I have some of my flowers on the top and some of them on the bottom so I liked I wanted to line up how I wanted it to look decorated but um, want it, of course, to be able to open still, so just make sure if you do that, you don't have them kind of like overlapping, so you can have it on both, so that turned out so pretty, I love it. So anyway, that's everything that I've uh, made so far. A lot of them are just kind of basic, just because I wanted to give you an idea of what they look like put together. I still have more that I haven't uh, tried yet, and then more I'm going to make, you know, with some other collections and stuff, so... Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this is so long, but hopefully, hopefully I gave you some um, ideas and then also, you know, let you know more about what was in some of these die sets. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll have the website listed below. I'll list all the dies, even though I can't um, uh, link them yet because there's no links yet, but um, they'll all be, the, all the names will be listed down below for you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Get ready for March 1st. They'll all be available to you. Make sure if you decide to pick any of these up um, that you use my code POLKA10 to save yourself 10% off your whole order. That's P-O-L-K-A-10. All right, guys. Thank you so much for again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.